Burglary is generally defined as the unlawful breaking and entering of almost any building or structure with the intent to commit a felony, such as robbery or larceny, inside. The breaking element may be satisfied by an actual physical breaking. But will a constructive breaking suffice? The Wisconsin Supreme Court faced this question in the 1887 case of Nichols v. State. In July of 1885, a man called Nichols arranged to have the American Express Company ship a 225-pound box to Chicago by train. Nichols concealed himself inside the box, along with a gun, a few other weapons, and a bottle of chloroform. He planned to rob the express agent, who would be carrying $50,000, and he was prepared to kill anybody who tried to stop him. The box was loaded onto the freight car with Nichols inside, but the train's employees ultimately discovered his deception, and the police arrested him before he could carry out his plan. Nichols stood trial for burglary in Wisconsin State Court, and he was convicted. Nichols then appealed his conviction to the Wisconsin Supreme Court, arguing in part that he hadn't gained entry into the freight car by an actual physical breaking, as required for burglary.